Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sibylla. If you are new here, I wanna say welcome. If you're returning, I wanna say thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate all your support. Um, so yes, once again, I released a single called I Need A Man and it's out on all streaming platforms. Please make sure to go and listen to it. Let me know your feedback, you know, use it on your Instagram, your TikToks, you know, share it with your friends, like it, add it to your playlist, all of the above. Just make sure you're there supporting me and I really do appreciate all you've done for me so far already. So yeah, I'll leave a description, uh, I'll leave a link in the description bar below. Okay, let's get into the video. So today I wanted to discuss buying followers and subscribers and why this is something that I don't think you should do or is necessary. Um, as I said in my um, video when I first announced that I dropped I Need A Man, I mentioned the fact that, you know, I have, it took me three years, you know, I, for three years I was on 30 subscribers, which was kind of made up of family and friends. And now I'm kind of growing into like, you know, the hundreds, which is amazing. Like I, I, I for so long I thought to myself, oh, should I, it was embarrassing to have, you know, the number of subscribers on there just be like, you know, 30. 32 it was a bit embarrassing or I felt embarrassed but at the same time I just kept making videos I just kept doing it I was tempted to like buy some subscribers to make it look a lot better to make people want to kind of or think I was doing better than I was but I just thought what is the point and I've noticed with you know people that I know that have bought subscribers that have bought followers on Instagram and all of that um it's just I feel like there's some people that buy subscribers that get them to 10k on instagram right and with that 10k once you hit 10k on instagram you can do the swipe up link which is amazing like i want to swipe up when i release my tracks i want to swipe up link like i want my friends you know people to be able to just swipe up i don't want to say link in my bio like that is long that is annoying some people are like uh you know people want easy access these days people want things that they can just they want to be able to do it on the spot they don't want to be like okay come out of your stories go into your profile go onto your main page and then you know click on the link like people are lazy i get it i want to swipe up link but i don't think that is enough to make me want to buy some followers i feel like people that are really interested in the music that feel like this is a sound that they like will make the effort to find it you know like they will make the effort to go onto Spotify and search my name. Like they will do it that way. I don't think it's worth buying the subscribers mainly because you, I see, I see a lot of people with a lot of subscribers and then nothing, like nothing happens. They post pictures and I, at the moment, I only have about 260 Instagram followers. I've been trying to grow that for a long time, but I'm hoping that soon with more consistent posting, you know, that will kind of grow naturally on its own. Obviously I'm releasing more songs. I can do more acoustic versions of my songs. I can go on like Instagram live and start to like really build that. I really want my people, people that appreciate me, people that appreciate me, my music, to find me that is what i want because those people will be more genuine they will genuinely like posts they will comment they will have a lots of positive things to say whereas if you just have a bunch of like bots that you've bought that are meant to be subscribers you post and you have the same number of likes as i do like that that's when it doesn't make sense like it doesn't make sense like make it make sense you know and it's just like do you really have supporters though have you actually grown your fan base like buying it doesn't mean you've grown your fan base it might look to the world like you have but you want to be successful you want to find your people you want people that are genuinely interested the same as like with youtube if you buy views on a video okay what's the point you want to kind of boost your algorithm by having people actually like it actually have genuine comments you know have a back and forth in your comment section and it's like it doesn't you can't do it for everything i've seen people buy views for their music video right they buy the views and this video will have like two hundred thousand views but then the majority of their the majority of their other videos don't have that many you know 
views or likes or comments, nothing. So it's like, who are you fooling besides yourself? Who are you fooling? Like it's a false, false sense of security and it doesn't really make you know how much you've grown. And I feel like it can even make you sad because it's just like, okay, this is what you want, but you're not getting it. So you have to keep buying it. What's the point? I just want to like, the way I was so happy to have hit a hundred subscribers, I was so pleased because I'm like, these are people that have watched my videos, like my personality, like what I have to say, have had a look at my other videos and thought, Ooh, okay. I've watched one. I've watched two. I've watched three. Okay. I'm liking this. I like what she has to offer. And then they click subscribe. I love that. I appreciate that. I wouldn't want it to be the other way around. Not all my videos are getting all the likes, but as I've noticed from my videos now where I put videos out three years ago and they're hitting the like 4,000 view mark and every day I'm getting constant like views, some videos go viral, some videos take a while to hit. There might be a topic in the news that's relevant at that point and therefore people are like searching videos and they come across my videos and then they can have like genuine conversations in there. So yeah, I wouldn't, it's, it depends on who you are and what you want out of it. If you do believe that you will put in the work and you will get those subscribers in the end, you will get those followers in the end. And for the beginning, for the start, you kind of want to make it look good. Go ahead and do it. It's not really my style. It's not, it's not what I want. I don't want to, I want to make, you know, I want to make decisions in my life based off of facts, you know? If I'm going to stick with music, you know, if I'm doing this thing, I want to see that people are interested. I don't want to fake it because what, am I successful by buying it? Like what, what was the point of that? So yeah, this is why I wouldn't do it. I do a few friends that have mentioned to me, I'm like, oh wow, I got so many views. And I love those friends that are honest and just say, I bought this and I'm like, okay. And you know, when you're sitting down, it's so awkward where like I've, I know this fact where I know they've bought subscribers, they've bought followers, they've bought views and we're sitting down and we're having conversations amongst other artists and people are like, Oh, I'm having a look. And you have like 200,000 views on this video, but you only have 2000 on this one, or you only have 500 on that one. And you only have this on that one. And they're like, why? Like, what is it about this, you know, music video? Because there should be some level of consistency. There should be some level. Like for me, most of my videos average at this point, they're averaging about 50, 70 views, right? Some of them are like 700, some of them are 500, some of them, as I said, are th uh, over a thousand. It just depends on what people are looking for, but make it make sense. Like let it look a little bit consistent. You can't like, if I just have a video now that just has, you know, 100,000 views, it wouldn't make sense with a hundred subscribers. Like, oh God, it needs to make sense. It needs to make some level of sense. Yes. Some videos go viral 100%, but it's like some of these things need to need to add up you know if you have all these people on this platform that have seen you probably they want to kind of find you on social media and you know follow you and you know it should always translate to something else and when it doesn't translate it doesn't make sense so yeah i wouldn't be buying any followers any subscribers any of that i just want to put in the work and see the results i really want people that are truly interested in me to engage with me and that will then result in you know gigs actual people buying your merch people coming to your shows you know people fully supporting everything that you do people that will actually start to reshare your music retweet your tweets you know genuinely build it that way i want that that is important to me and that is what i'm starting to see now and it took a while but i'm starting to see the effects of that and i'm so excited to see what the future has and kind of just kind of go from there. So yeah, let me know, like, have you bought subscribers? Have you bought views? Have you bought followers? Let me know, like, what was the effect of that? Like, did it make you feel good? Did it result in more people thinking, oh wow, this person is popular and then following. So let me know like what you've kind of gotten. If you've, if you've done that, let me, let me, let me know what results. Do you regret doing it? Will you do it again? Was it expensive? Um, I know at some point, like I know, um, Instagram was, um, you know, cracking down on all these fake followers and fake subscribers. And I remember a lot of, uh, 
a lot of social media you know celebrities a lot of their followers dropped by a lot and that was such an eye-opener because celebrities do this and you know they're faking it and you think that it's also great and that was it was a little bit embarrassing you know it was a little bit embarrassing doesn't i just i don't like to do things that are not genuine like i just don't want the day when the reckoning comes and you're like ooh, uh, awkward shame like ev nah not doing it i want it to be genuine i want people to kind of do what they feel like they really really want to support so yes i will stay with my 260 followers on instagram we should go up guys go ahead find me sibylla music on instagram go follow me if you like this video yeah okay and you know i'll stay with what i have and continue to grow at a nice steady pace because that's kind of how it's going for me and yeah i'm excited so yes okay i'll see you guys in the next video and yeah have a lovely day lovely week whatever you're doing wherever you are and yeah lots of love bye guys <laughs>